guys. I'm back. And I got inspired to make a video on this new age and relationships. Because, you know, most of us, since we were little children, were programmed to believe, you know, romantic relationships were supposed to be a certain way. Like Disney movies, the princess and the knight in shining armor and the damsel in distress needs to be saved and, you know, for centuries, for thousands of years, the divine feminine energy has been repressed. You know, the feminine energy, like even in modern times, in like Islamic religions and, you know, countries, Women are forced to submit, and I am so glad that I am incarnated, and my physical form is in a time where women have power, because I honestly don't think I could survive in, like, past times where I would be forced to submit to a man, because, no, this woman right here... Nobody's going to control me. And in past times, women had to marry just so they could survive. If you weren't married by, you know, your late teens, early 20s, you were an old maid. What the fuck? Like, old, old days? What were people thinking? Like, why were women so repressed? Because we... As women have this light, this strength within us that is very intimidating. As you know, even though most of the time in the olden days the man supposedly wore the pants and took care of the family and was in control, you would still see it as there was a woman of strength behind him. The woman behind him was the whisper in his ear that guided him. And nowadays, we have our own power. We have our own light. We can control our own lives. We do not need a relationship. We do not need a man. And even if, you know, you're homosexual or bisexual or whatever, even back then, you still had to hide that part of yourself and these days you don't have to hide that these days we can live in our truth there's still you know some backlash some people are still afraid some people still judge but these days more people can be in their truth more people speak out and how that goes with relationships How everybody is saying we're coming into a new age with the December 21st, you know, alignment with all the planets. And I must say, December 21st, 21st 2012, I was so fucking disappointed that nothing happened. I was, like, prepared for, you know, hellfire and everything. And I was like, nothing happened. I was so disappointed. So I'm not keeping my hopes up for December 21st this year. But... As everybody, as everybody says, you know, it's an energetic, you know, alignment, whatever, into 5D, blah, 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 age of Aquarius, yada, yada. Anyways, how relationships have been viewed from the past are not how relationships are going to be going forward. A very intelligent person I had a conversation with recently really made me realize that we put a lot of expectations on a romantic partner that we do not put on anybody else in our life. A romantic relationship should be a friendship with intimacy, with sexuality in that connection. So, 
what we grew up with, with the whole Disney Channel and the romantic comedies and the damsel in distress and, you know, the woman needs to be taken care of and the man needs to save us and, you know, we put so much expectation on that because that's what we were programmed to believe. And that's not how things need to be. In romantic relationships, it really should be a friendship plus. Just that added plus. You should be connected to each other. You should be like best friends. Like, you know, you are, this is probably more for the ladies, but you know how you're so open and free with your women friends and you can say anything to them. That's how it should be with a romantic relationship. It's just you have that sexual bond. But with all that programming, we project all that pain. For me, I have daddy issues since, you know, my dad wasn't there and he died when I was seven. So all the romantic relationships I've had, I have sought a father figure. I have sought someone to fill that hole. Someone to save me. And we have to release that. That is not what romantic relationships should be. It should be freedom. There should be that that spark. And you should be best friends. You shouldn't have that expectation for someone to fill you, to complete you. Nobody will complete you. You complete yourself. And that is what we've been taught. You know, I'm 36, so I grew up with, you know, Cinderella and, you know, all those Disney movies and all that bullshit where we're taught that women just need to wait for someone to come and complete us. (laughs) That's not going to happen. Nobody's going to complete you but you. That is what we should be seeing in these Disney movies. And I'm not even going to get in, get into those conspiracy theories with the pedophilia and all that. But we need to start thinking for ourselves and start being free of what society wants us to be programmed to believe and to enact. That is not what a real relationship is. You know, what is it, Jerry Maguire? You complete me. Nobody fucking completes you but you. Stop believing that bullshit. You know, those those movies, you know, they make you feel and... they're, They're nice movies, but life isn't a movie. In life, there is so much more than what is portrayed and what is programmed into us. Like, nobody really talks about self-healing and completing yourself and focusing on yourself and becoming who you want to be before you start heading out to find somebody else. Because you shouldn't actually be looking for someone else. If you're complete in you, you'll just attract that person. You'll attract what is meant for you. But how society is, it has us all like, I need someone else to complete me. I need someone else to heal all my wounds when nobody else is going to heal you. What we need to be taught is how to heal ourselves. I mean, even in everything, in in school, in, in workplaces, in everything. It's like you're always searching for something outside of yourself to complete you, where you have to look at you. You have to go within. And that's just not taught. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with society, is 
those that run it don't want us looking within. They want us seeking outside validation. They want us separated from ourselves. They don't want us to find our inner strength. And that's really sad. Because, you know, with all the videos that I watch and all the posts that I see, so many people are waking up. And it's beautiful. Like, all of you are beautiful. And all of you are sovereign. All of you are individual. You have your own strength. You have your own beauty. You don't need anything outside of yourself. You know, the focus shouldn't be on, on money and possessions and what you can, can acquire. It should be on, on happiness within, being settled. Just being comfortable in your own skin. You know, always seeking comforts from, you know, the next biggest TV and the next, you know, video game system or whatever. Those things don't matter. Those things are outside of you and those things don't complete you. Those things only make you feel better momentarily. Those things distract you. That is what... the shadow system wants. It wants you distracted so that you're not focusing on within yourself, so that you're not connecting with others, and so that you're not becoming a mass consciousness that can overcome the darkness. Because shit is hitting the fan. Like, I can feel it. Like, it, it, it causes fear within me, which I'm, I'm trying to, you know, calm within myself because I can feel so much discord within the whole consciousness of the world. There's so much fear going on. And it, it's scary because, you know, being an empath, you can, you can feel all the energy and it, it makes you fearful within yourself. And we need to calm. We need to be, become sovereign within ourselves. We need to connect with other like-minded individuals, which, you know, all this, the shutdown stuff, they want us separate. They do not want us to rise up together. They want us to be disconnected and separate and stop fighting. Stop fighting with everybody. You may have differences in opinion, but we need to be together. And how this... <laughs> I don't know how I went on a little tangent, but... Relationships are not what we have been taught since we were toddlers. You know, with friendships, you're so open. You know, you can tell your... It's been really hard for me. Like, my best friend lives in the UK. I love you. But we've never met in person. But we've talked every day for the past two... Over two years. Since we met on social media. Like, I haven't had a friend like that since my best friend died eight years ago. And when you have somebody that you can tell everything to, it's just freeing. And what an actual romantic relationship is, you should be able to do that just with intimacy. Like, you shouldn't be projecting all of your issues with me and my daddy issues, trying to find a father figure, someone that's going to take care of me. I don't need that. I can learn to take care of myself. You know, I just need my best friend, someone that I can confide in, someone that is honest with me, which is really hard to find these days because a lot of people are not honest with themselves. And... You know, I've had my moments. You know, I recent 
Lee made a big mistake and lied to somebody I cared about because I was afraid. So it all starts with being honest with yourself and you know, I'm very sorry to that person that I wasn't honest with because it was a really messed up thing that I did. And in my last video I mentioned, you know, he contacted me and he apologized for what he did. I apologized for what I did. And it triggered me to not feel good enough. Because, you know, it's talking about friendship and all that. And I'm like... Can I really just be friends? Yes, I can. But it's like my ego mind is like, from what I've been conditioned to believe, I can't just be friends with somebody that, you know, I love to the ends of the earth, but that's not what relationships should be. Romantic relationships should start with friendship. They shouldn't be what we're programmed to believe was Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and all that. I don't need to be saved. You don't need to be saved. So just... I don't know if any of this makes sense because I kind of went off on a tangent, but that's just what I've been feeling for the past few weeks, actually. It's been going around in my mind, and it's like I haven't been able to articulate it. So... If this makes any sense, I hope it can help you. I just kind of needed to get that out there. But, I don't know. I love you guys. The universe loves you. Try to think of what you were programmed to believe and try to free yourself from that because that's not what we are moving into this December. We are moving into a whole whole new energetic level, a whole new timeline, things are not going to be the same. So, I hope you get something out of this. I love you. The universe loves you. Have a good night.